One of the ways you can share your Interact quizzes on your WordPress blog or sites is by adding your quiz as a pop-up or an announcement bar. To do this, open up your Interact account and I'll walk you through the whole setup. For the quiz that you are wanting to pop up or include as an announcement bar, click on share in embed. From here, choose the tab that you want, the pop-up or the announcement bar. Let's look at the pop-up first. From here, you're gonna click the WordPress tab and you will need the WordPress plugin installed in order to use this. So if you haven't installed the Interact Quizmaker WordPress plugin, click right here and follow the instructions to download it. You will have to activate it from your settings of your WordPress account. Once you've done that, come back to Interact and you're gonna to wanna to toggle on this uh, button here to activate the pop-up for this specific quiz. Note that you can have one pop-up or one announcement bar running at a time. If you are wanting to run multiple quizzes in multiple pop-ups on your WordPress site, check out this episode of our Grow podcast with Ron and Jess. Ron walks you through his setup on how he does exactly that using a different WordPress plugin. Okay, for now, we're just activating this one pop-up for this one quiz, so I've toggled the button on, and now you're able to adjust the pop-up settings. You can even preview what the pop-up will look like. We do recommend having a timer delay. It just gives the people that are accessing your page a little bit of time before something else is showing up in their face. Uh, it also gives more attention to the pop-up because it isn't something that happens right when they access your site. They're on the page and then it appears a little bit after. Also, we recommend having a hiatus. This would mean if you saw the pop-up today, you wouldn't see it again for another seven days. And this just ensures uh, annoyance, right? If someone's already on your site, if they've already seen the quiz and they've chosen to take it or not, you don't wanna keep putting that pop-up in their face. So the hiatus will sort of block it from people who have already seen it if that's what you would like. You can disable the cover page of your quiz if you would like. This would mean when somebody accesses your quiz, they will see the first question instead of the quiz cover. And then this redirect host option is only required if and when you are redirecting your quiz results. So instead of using the quiz results in your Interact account or in the Interact Builder, you've added your own custom URLs to redirect the quiz taker to a specific page. If you're wanting to do this, then make sure you're checking this button. Otherwise, when it takes the quiz taker or redirects them to the URL that you've placed there for that result, the page will appear within the pop-up frame, which you probably don't want. Checking this button will ensure they go all the way to the page that you're wanting to send them to. From here, you're going to click on copy ID, and then let's go over to your WordPress account. From here, you're going to go to settings and then choose interact. And then you are going to paste that short code right here and click update promotion ID. And now you can see when someone is on your page, the pop-up appeared about five seconds after I, after I got on there. So now they can take your quiz, answer your quiz questions right within the pop-up, subscribe, and see their results. Now, following these steps will activate that pop-up, or if you, do, if you did the announcement bar, the announcement bar on all of the blog posts that you have or the sites that you have on WordPress. If you are wanting to limit or only put the quiz on certain posts or pages, then head back to your Interact account. From the pop-up tab, you're gonna want to adjust these settings here. Now let's say because I have a very specific quiz, what adventure bag is best for you, right? Maybe I only want to put it on a very specific blog post. Here is the slug to the blog that I want this quiz to appear on. So if I copy this and paste it in here and in interact, I'm telling it to only show this pop-up to people on exactly matching this blog link. So it will only appear on this one blog. And you can add multiple rules here to add it to multiple blogs, or maybe you have a collection of blogs that you want to exclude. You can also play around with the rule to say, does not exactly match or does not contain and put in that main category of your, um, of your URL path. So again, only if you're wanting to limit or restrict which posts or pages your quiz is popping up on, play around with these settings here to either have it match or not match the specific URL path that you're wanting to show those pop-ups or announcement bars on.
Now, since we're here, uh, if you are interested in running an announcement bar, it will work the same. You'll just go to the announcement bar tab. Again, you'll want to activate this quiz to be promoted in the uh, announcement bar. Again, one at a time. You'll go to the WordPress tab to grab the short code. You'll still use the same plugin. And if you scroll down, you have customized settings that you can adjust what the announcement bar looks like. You can even preview it right here. And then again, you have the same customization settings down here where you're only showing the pop-up to people that are on specific pages that you want it to be, that you want it to appear on. And that, my friends, is how you can include pop-ups or announcement bars to your quizzes on your different WordPress blogs or sites. If you are ready to start marketing your quiz elsewhere, check out this video of our Grow podcast where we talk all things marketing your quiz.